it was a weird time. I mean, society was convulsing, right? Mm -hmm. um, because we were coming from an era of, of such rigidity. It was a time, I mean, I think people, People don't understand how uh, the the advent of the pill changed things, mm -hmm. you know. So there was this kind of halcyon time where um, having sex didn't mean pregnancy or death, mm -hmm. and that was a great time. Like everything changed, mm -hmm. every the music changed, the way people related changed. I mean, it was just, and there was all the friction in the town because you'd have all the all the, 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 the stalwarts who were like, you know, working at GM and you had guys with hair down, you know, below their waist. And, and it was, it was, it was tumultuous. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and, you know, I wore uh, the biggest Afro I could grow. Of course you did. And, uh, you were you a dashiki? Oh, pff, you know it. <laughs> dashikis. Uh, yeah, but you know, I was also, you know, we were also in the coffee house scene and, you know, that was very, uh, boot cut jeans and, and mm. cowboy boots. I, I spent a good part of my teenage years wearing cowboy boots. Mm. I, it's funny, isn't it? I did not see that coming. I know. I, I found an old pair about two, three years ago when I was cleaning up the house and I thought, well, these are still in good shape. I love these boots. I'm going to put them on. I'm gonna... And I lasted mm, 3.5 minutes. <laughs> And said, I mean, my back was like, <laughs> I just went, no, off with the boots, they're yeah. going out, right? So, yeah. But also, too, I mean, it was a time of cultural revolution in terms of the black movement and, uh, yeah. you know, um, there were the, changes in attitudes. My biggest, my biggest heroes, heroes were the Black Panthers. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm wearing a Black Panther tribute jacket today. Mm -hmm. So... It's yeah, they were they were huge. Mm -hmm. The the idea that as a black person you could stand up with power and create fear mm -hmm. and you could stop the crap that had been hurled at you for years and years and years mm -hmm. and all it took was attitude and an afro. Mm -hmm. That was that was mind changing for me. Mm -hmm. I remember I remember when I when I was at theater school in the first years, I went and uh, I was walked. I walked from College Street to Bloor, mm. in the center of the sidewalk, and I was all decked out, you know, mm. the fro, the the whole deal. And I walked right up the center of the sidewalk, didn't move for anybody all the way to Bloor Street, and everybody got out of your way. Mm -hmm. Now, coming from a a kid who was five foot two till he was like seventeen, mm. and had been called every name in the book, mm -hmm. and beat the crap out of. Mm -hmm. I was I was beyond thrilled at the fact that I could, you know, kind of leech off the Panthers with that sense of power and mm -hmm. change things. And all of a sudden, people didn't walk up to you when you're with your girlfriend and call you a dirty nigger, mm -hmm. right? Because they'd be too afraid. They still thought it. Mm -hmm. They still think it. Mm -hmm. It's just they don't say it because somebody capped their ass, mm -hmm. which is the way it should be. Mm -hmm. It's not very artsy, is it? <laughs> it's well, not peace-love. I'm not a peace-love kind of guy. I'm a power guy. Mm -hmm. 